would probably say it does. They got together when in January of last year, the council announced the BATS had to close because of budget cuts, and they've secured a stay of execution for two years, and are now hoping to take over the running of the BATS in the spring of next year. Uh, Cyan Astley is from the group, uh, and he's with us now. Cyan, good morning. Good morning, Mike. So how did your group form? Well, we formed out of a, a local passion um, that we didn't want the batters to close. You know, they've been there over 100 years. They're part of the, the fabric of the Willington community, and, uh, and nobody wanted them to shut. So we got together. You know when you see, and I, I'm, I am generalising to a certain extent, when we see televised protests, I mean, fracking's perhaps a great example, um, you do see people who... If I may say this, generally look like protesters. If, if, if I'm, trying to, I'm trying to be as balanced as I can, but there, 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 there is a, a type of person that, that would instinctively gener, um, gravitate towards that. What you've done here, though, is to you've got your protest movement literally within local people. You've got local people together. How did you manage to overcome the natural apathy that we all have? I think there's a very big difference between serial protesters, um, you know, and there's a lot to learn from them and their methods and their passion. But there's a big difference between that and a local campaign like the campaign to save uh, Within Combat. And people, you know, it was actually amazing. People just naturally came together. <clears throat> we had obviously a large membership, you know, there's a lot of people that swim there, there's a lot of people that use the gym. And we're talking people where their grandmothers, their grandfathers learned to swim there, parents and now children and grandchildren. So there were thousands of people. I mean, we had 8,500 people sign the petition within two weeks. So it really was a kind of natural thing. We didn't have to force anybody, you know, off their bums to do this. They just they just got up and did it. So you did the petition. What other form did you protest, forms did you protest take? Well, I think now protesting on a local level is so much more easy with social media. You know, lots of local campaigns, ones around Manchester and nationally, use Twitter, use Facebook, to garner support and get people really motivated and to, to spread the information about what's happening and when. Uh, and that's really, really helpful for local campaigns. How, how do you get the expertise? If you said to me, right, start a protest movement, mm. Sweezy, for instance, where I live, they closed the police station effective to the general public. And I, I work in the media and I'm not certain that I'd know where to start and who to contact. How did you find that? I think... Um, there's, there's an awful lot of information out there now, and there's a lot of support groups nationally for local campaigns. It's a real movement, this sort of community, a sense of localism. Um, and there, there's a lot of help out there. Um, you can now contact, you know, we've spoken to people, say, from Ancoats Dispensary, people who are trying to campaign to save um, London Road Fire Station or trying to, to get that going again. So you can really um, communicate with other local groups and get, and get help there. Um, but it does take passionate people and people with skills. But those, pe you know, those people are out there and they're passionate about our swimming pools, they're passionate about our heritage. Um, and it's about getting those people together. And it's not easy. Don't, you know, don't, don't get me wrong, it's, it's not easy. But you have to be committed, you have to be organised and focused. Sayan, can I ask a fi final question I want to mm -hmm. ask you? Because you're dealing, obviously, with bureaucracy here. Did you ever feel, when you started it, look, I've got to do this, I am passionate, we all are but we'll never, we'll never win. Did you ever feel like that? That was never, ever on the agenda, Mike. Of course we'll win. And if people want to get involved with our campaign, go to lovewithingtonbath.com and uh, give us a follow on Twitter, give us a follow on Facebook, because we're absolutely committed to a big vision for Withington Bath. Say, and there.